eyes now. <clears throat> so, you know, with with like with like a lot of regret to have to do this. Like just you know, I just casual 10 points, 11 points into this. Oh. They're bored. Gone. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. How's it going, guys? Take it goes here, and I am back with another banger list. Today, we're going to be playing a Rage of the Sea. Overall, just like Skelly Gay Rain package. We're playing Fuxia with Fulmar. This card is really good with Rain. Um, archetype. Um, we're playing Defender, Melissan. Ryogun, Bright of the Sea, and one thing that's, uh, you know, a little bit different from the other list that we're playing Arcane Tome here. I think Arcane Tome is a really great addition to the um, Rain archetype, simply because, you know, we have some bronze like Tears of the Siren, which, you know, we don't really want to play from hand as it's only a 4 provision guard, although it's synergized really well with something like Messenger of the Sea or um, Melissa and Cultist. So yeah, um, I believe like having Arcane Tome here is really good for us uh, because the reason that, you know, we're able to play our Bronze Provision, uh, I mean Bronze for Provision Specials that brings out rain to opponent's row and the fact that we can actually like, it's guaranteed to have Melusin in hand, I mean play Melusin in round 1 because you know, we're playing Oniromancy, we're playing Royal Decree and we're playing Arcane Tome so the possibility of not drawing Melusin is very very low so yeah being able to play Melusin in round one I think is very very good um, and you know speaking of playing Melusin in round one this deck also plays my favorite card of Fairy Merchant so yeah of Fairy Merchant um, I've been a fan of this guy since like forever in a Melusin deck simply because you know against Nilfgaard you play your Melusin they invocation or Melusin and then you just play a Fairy Merchant into Moscow Ouroboros here you discard a card and then you draw a card so immediately you don't have to be afraid of opponents playing something like um Brathens or informant to you know copy the afro merchant and play it themselves you know this is a really cute play i've done some kind of some, like some plays with a fairy merchant that absolutely went to me the game very very nice and you know against um hyper thin although we don't really see hyper thin that much anymore um, with Ophira Merchant, you know, they only have like one card left in their deck. You play Ophira Merchant, they won't have like, you trade their like 12 power, 13 power Tibor or 12 power Imperial Golem with a special card. And you know, they're just gonna, oh, what am I gonna do? <laughs> My combo just like completely fall off. So yeah, um, I believe there's really like nothing different from the usual rain package for playing Ryogun here. I was considering about putting Lippy in, like putting Lippy with um, Thrall Porter. Like I think that will be a really funny deck. Like playing Thrall Porter with Lippy, because you know, we're playing a lot of thinning here. Play uh, Oniromancy, play a Royal Decree, we have Arcane Tome. So, you know, we could just banish all this, you know, essentially not needed bronze. For example, if the opponent is not playing uh, Golden Necker, we don't really need Purify for their Siri Nova. Um, you know, just banish all this unnecessary bronze and simply play our um, gold, like gold high provision cards. That is a line, but you know, I feel like it's gonna be really awkward with your Yogan in our graveyard. So you know, we're always gonna, most of the time, if we're playing Lippy. Um, we're just gonna shuffle a Ryogun into our deck, which is really not ideal because usually you kind of want to use Melissin or Sidrifer's right to trigger all the rains on the opposite side of our rows on the opponent's board, right? So yeah, um, we're playing Rage of the Sea here. It's just um, rain leader ability, and with you know with Rage of the Sea, you could immediately turn this Bright of the Sea to be able to you know use Sidrifer's right on demand. So, you know, you don't really have to set up Rain with Melissin or Fulmar or the Melissin Cultist. You could immediately just use two of the charges on whatever row you want. And then immediately use Bread of the Sea for Sidrifa's Right, which is actually really, really good. Um, which matchup? Um, 
I'm still not sure what it's good at. I haven't really played that much rain, to be honest. Um, I tried it, it was really good, but it, you know, the problem with rain deck um, has always been it lacks control, right? Um, but I mean, it's just the problem with um, general weather decks, you know, playing weather such as rain or fog or frost, you're just sacrificing um, your control for that, for the value of weather. So yeah, I'm really interested. I'm really, you know, excited to see how this deck would go, how this archetype will fare in the current meta, especially, you know, with rain, the value kind of like, it takes a lot of time to build to get the value, whereas with something like Golden Ecker or the like current prevalent in the meta, right? Um, Scoia'tael, um, Syndicate, like you could just tempo immediately just like that. Um, with Scoia'tael you could use um, Simlos with a lot of Waylay or the Dwarf Package, the Moonro with Zoltan. And with um, Syndicate you could actually use um, Roland, I believe, the Blind Hind Brothers. One of the blind home brother to just like you know poison your board and get amazing value that way but with rain right here um we should be a little bit patient you know just biding our time building our carryover with melissa and maybe try to win the round with amazing value from my of the sea and yeah i think that's pretty much it for the deck introduction there's really nothing else much to say here except you know we're playing freya's blessing freya's blessing is really good to you know um get the messenger of the sea you know revive the messenger of the sea one thing that i would like to add here is probably like grimace like i think grimace will be really good especially since it can you know purify opponent's Sirenova. it could purify the doomed from messenger of the sea so it enables it to be played multiple rounds multiple rounds you know if we're up against lock we could just purify the lock and we still have another purify to get rid of something like Doomed or maybe Opponent's Defender. Something tricky like that. But to compensate that, to compensate not having Grimace, we're playing Mahakam Ale. Um, I mean, we're not really, we don't really need to run Crow's Eye. Uh, where is Crow's Eye? Uh, we don't really need to, you know, have a Purify. Because, you know, we have, um, uh, like, Poison doesn't really come by that much in Litter these days. Like just having Mahakam Ale for the lock pack is actually, I think, good enough. And for the bronze, we're not playing Harfru here. Um, Harfru is a po was a popular choice. It's a um, really good card. It's bonded. It spawns rain. Itself, it's uh, it damage itself. Like it enables it to get healed. But I think since this is only a beast tag, right? It doesn't really synergize that well with Melissa. Um, because, you know, with Melusin, if you want to get her value, her rain value, you need cultists on her, uh, as her adjacent units. And, you know, um, we have Melusin cultist as a cultist, and I think Hermit is just a really good cultist for provision bronze. And I think that's pretty much it. We're, I think most of the time, we're just going to use Megascope for another Messenger of the Sea. As you know, this is where the value comes from um, with, for this deck. Um, yeah, I hope we could, you know, see some absolute like crazy gameplay out of this deck and we'll see how it goes. Alright, first match of the day against Nilfgaard. Alright, um, is this Nilfgaard Assimilate or Gordon Necker? I don't really know. But I hope we drew Melissin with our... Oh, we drew the Melissin and a Fairy Merchant here. That is really good for us. Uh, so if they ended up invocating the uh, Melissin here, we could always... A fairy merchant, messenger of the sea, bang bang, you know? Uh, it's gonna be really good. Um, I think we don't need that. I don't believe we need the phrase blessing now. <clears throat> I think this should be good enough for a hand. I'm not sure about the lock here. If they're playing ball, um, how come it could be really good here? It gets, it, 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 like, you could use it our graveyard, something like that. Something within the mega scope here. All right, so starting off easy, we're just gonna use the Millicent Cultist here. See what opponent does, and this this Mask of Ouroboros would be really good for us. I hope we don't give them like our golds, like on Aeromancy, or is, I hope we give them something like Megascope or, you know, just our runs. 
it'll be really good. Um, should we click this? Maybe we don't need to click this, right? Hmm, guess we're just gonna click it. It doesn't get us the boosted here, but I think it's fine. We could have also played Millicent into the left side. <clears throat> oh, they're looking like they want to pass. They look like <clears throat> they want to pass here. It's not bad. And they played their Joust, so we don't really need to play around the second Joust. It's really nice. Could play the Hermit next. Now this boost it is really nice. <clears throat> oh wow, that's really spooky. Wait, it kills itself. Oh, they play it wrong. They should have played um, a messenger of the sea first into Millicent cultist into hermit or hermit into Millicent cultist into a messenger of the sea to get the value out of the armor. But. I think I'm fine with this. I really want to win this round if possible. Winning this round will be really good for us. Listen, is at 14 right now? Oh, Ring of Favor? What's up with the Ring of Favor? Mm. What's up with the Ring of Favor? I'm kind of scared now. So we could use Oniromancy just to pull out Defender or something. I like that play. Yeah. Any romance for a defender? I don't think they have enough, right, if they continue to play. Like, if they continue to play, I'm just gonna pass right off the bat. Like, I'm fine with passing here. <clears throat> so, um, what are we playing around here? Invocation or, or something? Something, something? Ooh, Megascope. I'm gonna try and bleed the guy. He's playing um, Assimilate with Ring of Favor. Hmm. We could try and two of this guy. Because we have only Romancy into Master Drifters, right? I don't think they play um, cheeky stuff, right? 
And they're gonna have to go through our defender, which I don't think they can. Like, they're playing Assimilate, right? <clears throat> what can they do? Invocation this, then that means we're safe playing the Fuxia. And that means that our Fulmar is safe. Right, Defender doesn't really do anything, and that's their. I mean, this is their second mage order, which I don't believe that Assimilate Lakes um, run any more. Um, like spying, give tag, you know, the unit that gives spying to our board. <clears throat> so I believe we are fine with doing this. Um, if possible, I kind of want to, you know, get rid of the Fukusha here, so that they can't use Coup de Gras here. And I believe we should be fine. Like, we have Lasse Rugon, Right of the Sea Rugon, Ryogon, Ryogon. Like, this really doesn't concern us, is it? Um... You don't have any alchemy to play with Bright of the Sea. You don't have any Skellige units. I mean, you have Skellige units. It's Fulmar. Sure. Completely fine. So we got their leader. Um, we got leader and Arto Terranova. I mean, I think we're just chilling. Gonna play you. Next, we're gonna play the Fulmar into Bright of the Sea. Finish here with Sidrifer's right. I don't believe they're gonna have enough points to battle that. Like, I think we're just good. Like, they, the problem is they don't have any way to deal with Defender, right? Their ways to deal with Defender is um, actually just Invocation only. Okay, they don't get the Pallor, which is really good for us. Um, I think our plan is just very straightforward here. Um, we should play this on the leftmost side, I believe. Play this here to get the, um, the thing here. And I believe it should be good. Get the Melissa in charge back on. Very nice. See it again. You don't have any more units to play on the side on that side though. That's kinda like really bad for you. Maybe. So it looks like we're in a really bad situation, but they don't have Ryogan, and we have Ryogan. So I don't believe you're anywhere bad at all. In fact, we're chilling. Like, all this is gonna die. Die. Legit die. Oh, we got value out of Jan Kalvit. Um, oh, this Fulmar actually dies now. <clears throat> so, you know, with, with like, with like a lot of regret to have to do this. Like, just, you know, just casual. 10 points, 11 points into this. Oh! They're bored! Gone! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Beautiful! Beautiful! <laughs> oh, let me see your top deck. I don't want to be rude with it. Let me see your top deck. Oh, I'll get buttons. Nice. <laughs> that is not. Uh, playing the defender first was actually really good. Like, them not having any answer to defender was just like, oh, they're, 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 they're like, they're screwed. Beyond relief. Oh my goodness. That was amazing. <laughs> Actually, we, I don't think we need to use our leader charge there. Um, we have enough rain, like 9 points of rain, to kill all of the units on their road. 
but we did it anyway, just for the love, right? <laughs> anyway, I think that's um, a great first match, great first match, very hype, let's move on to the next game. Alright, second game of the night against Handbuff Scoyatel. Oh, oh, Handbuff is actually pretty tricky to play against. Because actually, if they're playing Devotion, um, they should not play that much unit. They should be able to kill <clears throat> our stuff very easily. Is it like Siri Nova? I mean, I have to keep the Pella, right? Because we never know. I think <clears throat> we could mulligan away one Hermit here. Don't really need two of them. And we get our Melissa. It's very nice. Um, do we want lock here? We have a Purify. Maybe we don't need Purify. Maybe we don't need Mahakamel either. Maybe we maybe we don't need Megascopes. Two. Two Messenger of the Sea. That's very pog. <clears throat> so guys, do you think they run Heat Wave or not? Like, do they run Heat Wave or... Um, should we play around Heat Wave by placing Defender first? I think I'm gonna go ahead and play the Defender first. There's no need to do that. Ah, uh, should we play around? Mm, I mean, if they use Heat Wave, is that good for us? Hmm. Cat Witcher from hand, very respectable. So are they gonna have 3 damage here to finish it off? Because they were maybe like trying to play around my Melusin. We'll see. You're gonna have Heat Wave? No heat wave. Okay. So the thing with hand buff is that they don't have a removal as their leader, right? Oh, this is I think a, just a Saskia deck. This looks like a Saskia deck. Fine with doing this. Bring more bleeding there or rain. I'm sorry. Do you have four damage? We can do this. <clears throat> Just play the Megascopes. I believe it's fine. Oh, plays it melee. Another one. Okay. is very fine so now do we want to play tears of siren or do we just want to use our mask of uroboros um oh they have a lot of armor here that's very uncomfortable i wish i could deal with um either of these i think i'm just gonna go ahead and play the second um, Tears of Messenger, place it here. That's a lot of rain value. Are you gonna use Munro now? Munro? Coming in hot. A 
Like we should like we should be getting worried about this cat twitcher. Melosin is playing for a lot of points. I think I'm fine at ringing out the defender now. Play around weird stuff. Oh, all of this armor here. It's actually really bad for us. This armor, oh. And bear in mind, um, their leader ability is getting worse the shorter we go to each round. They look like they're winning the round here, but I don't think they are. Beautiful. <clears throat> oh, they killed one of our units. One of our engine. But I believe she'll be fine here. You just place it here. Um, this is four damage. This is more points, right? I believe. <clears throat> place it here. Now, do they have heat wave or not? <clears throat> That's gonna be the biggest question, right? Do they have heat wave or not? Do they have squirrel or not? Um, I'm just gonna bet that they don't have heat wave, and I'm just gonna play around their squirrel. Therefore, I'm just gonna play the Sidrifos first. Sidrifos, right? So, <clears throat> do we only roll the Fuchsia or we just play the Sidrifa's right? Um, I believe just playing the Sidrifa's right is correct. We don't really need to commit only Romancy here. <clears throat> Saskia? Saskia. They always play Saskia back row, so that's why I decided to play Melusin on the leftmost side. On the, I mean, back row. So the thing is, we could try and snipe Saskia by playing two leader charges here, or just one leader charge Melusin into Ryogan. Oh yes, we could definitely do that. <clears throat> Maybe we can wait? Oh, this is so interesting. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna use... Oh, this is very interesting. I think that's the correct play. Do this. And then we're Yogan, right? Um, so do we use Fuxia or we just use Bright of the Sea here? Um, I think I'm just gonna use Bright of the Sea. Because obviously, Fuxia is a much more important card. Oh, we missed one! Okay, we're just gonna use the recharge then. We missed one. 
And I think that should be it, right? That should be the game here. I, th I believe. Hmm. 40 points. 4 cards. And we managed to snipe their Saskia. Wow. Is this deck like really good? This deck might be like the deck, you know? Wow. This deck is amazing. Holy schmoly. Now imagine our lost card is Fuchsia on our hand. I believe that's a pass for me. I don't have anything left to do here. My job here is done. Yes. Like playing this for a 4 doesn't really feel nice, does it? And uh, Melusin Engine is currently still picking. Which is really nice. And their leader charge is only boosting 2 units. Which is really nice. No, granted it could be a 20 point something Turk. Tork, Torky, Turkey, Turkey, Turkey. And they could have a squirrel coming up. And you know, we don't really have a guaranteed way of getting Fuchsia here. Which is actually really bad for us. But we managed to get it in the bag. Very, very nice. Woohoo! Yo, this deck is actually insane. This deck is nuts. Yeah, um, you know, even if we like we had a card down going to round two, but Melissa and Carryover just straight up demolish them they you know they tried to preserve their Saskia but in the end with Yogan play we managed to be able to snipe it which is really really nice and I think let's just move on to the last game of the night all right lost the game of the night last game uh third game of the night we're up against Gurney Cora Ooh, I believe this will be a very interesting matchup um especially since you know they could tempo us they could kill our stuff you know, there's a lot of things I can do. They could banish our Malusin. They could do a lot, all sorts of stuff, but you know, we'll try our best to stay focused in that round. We have a Royal Decree and only Romance round one, which is very, very ideal. Um, I believe we can just one Defender. But this hand should be good enough, is it? This hand is good enough, I think. Ooh, this hand is looking dicey. This hand do be looking kinda sussy. Standard play, a Melissa and Cultus. We don't need to play the, like Melissa into Mask of Uroboros. You don't need to do that. Just standard Melissa. Um, standard Melissa and Cultus. Like, look at this. They're always playing this melee. Like, why? <laughs> I place this melee. Like, who needs to not play it melee? Like, come on. Come on, guys. Play it melee. Right? Come on, guys. You obviously always played melee. There's no two ways about it. I believe you don't need two of Tears of Siren. It's a bit redundant. And I'm just gonna try and do this. Like, who, who cares about the Millicent Cultist value, right? <laughs> it's fine, guys. No need to worry about the. Oh, they're playing this background now. Very nice. Um, I mean, the same deal, I think. I mean, I think it's fine to just place Mess Messenger of the Sea now. It's five points. I don't think they could quite kill it. Um, five damage. Do, they, do you think they can kill this? Um, sure. Next, I believe we're just gonna play the Hermit. Try and get some value that way. Bang, bang. That's a lot of points on Messenger of the Sea. Just pass. Just like that. We don't need to play any, like, you don't need to, we don't even need to play our only Romancy. It is honestly the best. <laughs> um, okay, so I hope we could get Sidrifus right and the Defender now. Oh, another Messenger of the Sea that's really good. 
Okay, real talk. Do we need Peller? Do we actually need Peller though? Like, if they play Siri Nova, we just kill it. No? Get that thing out of here. We don't need ya. So yeah, just rest my listen. I think it's the the best play right now. Although we could also use Oniromancy for Sidrifus, right? We could Oniromancy Arcane Tome. And hopefully they play their cards. There's a lot of things that we could do here. Hmm. Since we have this second Messenger of the Sea on our hand, I believe just going simply for Shufflers is a good play. It's like a safe play. Plays around something like Red Dive, you know? Maybe they play weird shit. I should have played this melee, but honestly, it's fine. And I believe next we're gonna play Royal Decree into a Defender. And most likely we're gonna use um, Oniromancy for Sidrifus, right? And I believe we should be jamming. We should be should be pretty good because they don't have any hard removal for, you know, they don't have heat wave. <laughs> oh boy, they don't have heat wave. What are they gonna do? Oh, cry to mama. Oh boy. Oh, they're gonna use it here. Are you sure about that though? Are you sure about that? Hmm. And they play this on the uh, range row, which is actually really good for us. And we play Defender. And next we're gonna play our Melissan Cultist, followed by Messenger of the Sea into... Like, we don't need to click the Melissan now, I think we're gonna click the Melissan next. <clears throat> Peggy into Megascope, Summoning Circle. Oh. Oh, you're gonna rest? I mean, everything's fine, right? Five, five provision. Griffin for, I guess, Millicent Cultist. Like, Millicent Cultist gives us rain value, right? And, you know, the thing is, we, we, oh my goodness, this is gonna be, this is gonna be nasty, guys. This is gonna be really nasty. Oh, oh, brother main. Oh, brother main. I'm uh, just gonna click this. That's fine. Oh, brother man. <coughs> oh, brother man. Oh, they're gonna get our Yogan. First things first. Just like that. Which is uh, really fair. It's fair. It's fair, you know. It's fair. It's it's fine. They used their Earth Savior Lamanus this round, which means that we're gonna have Melissa coming in hot at the next round. And I believe. We should just, you know, play the full mar here. Get that amazing rain value. And uh, I guess we don't need to click it. <clears throat> you know, placing a unit here on the melee is actually really good. And I don't believe, like, uh, in two days, Gwen, there's no clear weather, there's no clear skies. So what ends up happening is um, we're just popping off, mate. <clears throat> That's a lot of points. I'm just gonna say that it's a lot of points. Not to mention the, you know, Malison carry over too. I'm just gonna say that that is a lots of points. Yes. And we have our own value coming up. Don't click on the melee row, guys, by the way. This is our value. <laughs> Don't click on the melee row. Yeah, I think we're like really, really good here. I don't know. They have two points a turn. We have like one, two, three, four, five, a lot of points a turn. And I uh, believe we should be good. 
Click this, click that, spawn here, boom, bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, I don't think they have enough points to, they have enough, you know, they could recover from this. And um, yeah, I believe we should just pass here, let them deal with their own carry, like, just, you know. Alright. <clears throat> so that's a, uh, you know, I could get ahead of that. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, um. So, it's a lot of trouble he's dealing with. Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> Just. <laughs> this deck is so good. <laughs> Oh, I might just go for a fourth game. Oh my goodness, we just ended up towing people left and right. Oh, I'm not sure. The video is gonna be too short if I just end it here, right here. I mean, if the video is short, people will know, right? We just, we just straight up banging people, dude. We start clapping people all oh, left and right. Just like, ah. No, so, guys, this is actually a really good example of meta not having like a meta being not you know having any hard control this is the example why you should put lock and purify and banish in your deck like if opponent had purify and cross the heat wave this kind of stuff wouldn't happen this could have been easily avoided but since people are running like golden acre deck this deck is like no hard punish no hard control like, we're just, like, clapping people left and right. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys, this is actually, like, actually, actually, you should play this. Like, I, I recommend this from the bottom of my heart 100%. I mean, the thing is, it's, I think it's gonna lose to the mirror uh, against Self Wound. Mainly because, you know, we don't really have any way to remove their engine. Uh, they're just gonna kill us with Canute, and there's really nothing we can do. So I think some alternative will be putting Muzzle in, or just Heat Wave, or just some for some sort um, like some form of control to the deck. And yeah, I think for the most part against like any kinds of meta decks, this deck reigns supreme. Like against Golden Riker deck, there's really nothing they can do, as, as you know what you saw earlier. They play all their cards, and the gap just getting kept getting wider they don't know why oh uh maybe there's because storm on the road i don't know I and mean, then we have messenger of the sea i don't know but yeah jokes aside i think the deck is really good i believe you should you should really try this that i'm gonna put some like crazy title it's like 100 win rate 200 win rate undefeatable unstoppable skellige rain deck just like devouring all this golden acre nonsense in the letter Tired of Golden Acker? Try this deck! Tired of losing to Seahill? Tired of losing to Golden Acker? Try this deck! Check this out! Okay, anyway. I was like, I'm just getting too hyped, man. This deck is actually really, really good. This deck is actually really good. And I don't think I'm gonna play the fourth match of the day. I still have some stuff that I need to do. Um, it just means that I have uh, extra minutes to, to, to or extra minutes for break. Anyway, um, yeah, this, this is, I think this is gonna be it for me. That is actually insane. It's meta breaking, guys. It's insane. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching the video. Um, if you liked it, thumbs up, subscribe, um, comments what you think of the deck below, of the video below. And as always, I appreciate you for sticking out until the end, for hanging out until the end. And see you next time. Bye-bye.